Do you really need to niche down? Does it make sense to create content like an influencer by owning your personality? Or does it make more sense to create content like an expert of a certain category? You know, I always envy people who have a lot of clarity as to who they are in the world and then they start creating content and then build an audience in that niche. But there are so many of us who are probably, you know, we don't identify ourselves as an expert in a certain category. We have a gazillion ideas, we have parallel side projects going on and there are too many things that we are interested in. So how do we arrive at a niche or how do we identify a niche that just makes sense for who we are? So welcome to my YouTube channel and today in this video we are going to talk about how you can identify a profitable niche that actually makes sense for who you are as a personality, as a creative, professional, entrepreneur, whatever your identity is. So what does niching down mean and why do marketers and entrepreneurs and social media people constantly talk about niching down? Now niching down is the process of narrowing your target market, your audience in a way that it matches up with your marketing. So when you niche down, this way you will only be speaking to the people who actually love what you do, who you are, uh, would be actually interested in the content you will create because it actually caters to the pain points of that specific target audience. Niching down based on the experience of so many successful people and from a marketing point of view makes it easier for you to grow on social media in less time and of course monetize your audience pretty fast too. As multi-passionates we all want to have some kind of creative freedom in the ideas that we bring to the table as to what we want to talk about. We don't want to talk about the same thing over and over again. The thing is, if we talk about 100,000 things on social media, we are making it very difficult for our audience to understand who we are, what we are about. And even if they like the stuff that we are posting, they do not have clarity as to who we are and what we are here for. And when you do that, maybe they will follow your content. Maybe they will be interested in you know subscribing to you or giving you a follow on Instagram, TikTok, but eventually if you want to build your social media in a way that you want to create a business around it or you want to be able to sell your offers, at a later point you'll make it very hard for people to buy into whatever you are building for them or your offers, your courses, your business whatsoever. Again, contrary to what I just said, there is no rules in social media. We have seen a lot of influencers, YouTubers, entrepreneurs who have built an audience just by being themselves and i really believe in the fact that social media is not science it's pure creativity there are people who have been successful without niching down and there are people who have been successful by niching down so we have enough case studies and examples of either of the things if you are resonating with this content please go hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already i was watching this interesting video of a startup founder who's actually building an app for creators it's called stan and he made this video where he talked about the fact that your niche is the sweet spot between your passions and your expertise you're gonna make money on tiktok by knowing your niche and i'm gonna show you how your unique competitive niche is the intersection between what you're passionate about and what you're an expert in so right here for example i'm a business geek i went to stanford business school and i used to be a goldman sachs investment banker and I'm really passionate about helping other creators and entrepreneurs. So my content niche is coaching other creators on how to build their business. So now that you know. You know, we create content because we are passionate about certain ideas, certain subjects, certain things that interest us. And also because we feel we have somewhat of an expertise, which actually complements those passions or those interests that we have and the way you approach your niche is such that it should bring both these two worlds together so i always tell people if you are feeling stuck with your niche make a table of two columns and list down all the things that you are super duper passionate about and you think you want to create content about that so make a list of at least four to five different things keep it Make it more specific. Don't say travel and photography and stuff. Be a little more specific. And then that. in the second row, make a list of things that you think you are already an expert of. You know that subject little better than most people know about that. So 
write things about uh, like I am good at graphic designing or I am good at illustrations or in researching trends in social media or finance or whatever that is I'm just giving an idea so when you have this table in front of you now you can actually create patterns and understand the connections between these two things things that you are good at and things that interest you a lot and when you actually analyze those patterns you will be able to kind of figure out a Lewis sort of connection point and that will help you approach your niche in a way that it makes sense that yeah I am this person who loves this and also am this so these connection points will actually give you a very loose idea of how you will define a niche what you're trying to achieve with this exercise is you're going to find patterns between things you love and things you think you are good at when you have arrived at those patterns you will now research on the market for it is there a market is there a demand is it what other creators are already creating are there any successful brands or even content creators or creating content what is the response like what kind of questions people are asking in the comment box so you have to kind of have an understanding of the market size and kind of have, have some clarity about who your target audience is whether or not there is a demand when you do that you will be able to understand in how you can position that niche or at least approach that niche in a way that it makes it easier for you to like get started so now that you know what your passions are or what you're good at and you have somewhat of an idea of okay what is the territory you are approaching when it comes to your niche you need to ask yourself what kind of personal brand am i going to be what is my overall mission what is the purpose why am i doing what i want to do you need to give yourself a story because it's very important for you to sell yourself this story this why i mean you need to ask yourself or create a story in your mind why is it that you want to be creating content in this subject why is it that you want to arrive and you you want your personal brand to be about this niche right so if you create these characters in your head and that plot which is your niche and then there is a reason why you want to be this person who is going to be talking about these topics it will make it easier for you to approach your content from a place of yes it makes sense this is who i am this is what i should be doing i'm i'm meant for this and believe me when you have that internal clarity and a sense of yeah i know what i'm doing it makes things much more e easier and it removes a lot of confusion your niche with a clear mission also helps you stand out from the crowd because there are a lot of creators who are you know starting out in the same old travel tech social media lifestyle sort of niche but the only reason that you will stand out is when you will have that clear purpose uh, which is a mix of your backstory, your experience, your passions, who you are, because that will spice things up a little bit. People might have followed many photographers before, but you are someone who is actually embracing your story and your journey. And that's what makes it a little extra spicy. And that's why people notice who you are, because you are starting out in this really common niche, which is, for example, photography but you are approaching it from a place of originality which is your story which is your passion which is who you are as a person so there are many people who will define niche as beauty tech photography or social media and there'll be some who will define the niche as for the values they stand for you know like inclusivity or um cultural intelligence stuff like that i'm just throwing inspiration to give you an idea of how you can perceive niche as a more of a you know a, a creative space for yourself which stems from your reality as to who you are and who you want to become in the coming future so while I've given you a lot of inspiration in looking at your niche from an open point of view I want to also remind you that the social media algorithms of YouTube or Instagram or TikTok is built in a way that that favors creators who have a defined niche. So when you pick a very hyper focused niche, 
it makes it easier for the algorithm to understand that okay so this person creates content just about this and the sooner you give that idea to the algorithm by talking about or creating content in that specific subject the algorithm starts telling everyone and the right kind of people that oh follow this person i will show you the content of this person because this person is creating content about this and the algorithm knows it's uh, you know it's users very well so which is why when you actually niche down your growth becomes so much faster because you have created a lot of videos in a specific category and you've made it easier for your algorithm to understand who you are and then you know the whole finding your audience becomes easier for the algorithm and i think this is why so many people vouch for picking a very specific niche and sometimes if your content is all over the place or it's a good mix of variety of things the journey of your growth becomes slower but you will have to build a lot of credibility and you have to really lean into your personality because people will now start following you for who you are for your voice for your style of presentation and for the person that you are and they will watch whatever kind of content you are creating they are lifestyle creators who talk about everything under the sun but from the point of view of who they are so their value proposition of their personal brand is their own personality so you have to really stick to that and you you have to create consistency in how you appear your aesthetics your style of talking and kind of really work on that personality side of things be more authentic uh be more personal and bring more of you into your content two ways of approaching your niche one is a traditional content niche which focuses on a loose subject that you want to talk about the second is having clarity of a specific kind of audience you want to speak to traditional content niche which is lifestyle travel fitness health study youtubers or food or very very specific like finance or crypto social media tips now these are very traditional content niches and if you have defined yourself as okay i'm going to be talking about social media because i'm a marketer or i'm someone who is excited about what's happening in social media trends so this is how i'm going to approach my niche this works for a lot of people people who are very clear that i want to go down that path i want to become a thought leader in this defined category because this is what i want to do in my career or this is what i want to be in my future and when you take down this path you have to be very committed to that niche and you have to be full fully sure that this is what you want to be doing for the next 5 years or 10 years of your life because if you have defined niche meaning that you are going to give yourself a lot of time in creating a lot of content over the next few years in that category so if you look at all the famous youtubers whether in beauty tech uh you will see that they have been consistently creating content in a defined niche which has obviously helped them build a very engaged community of people who like the same topic and people who actually uh you know came looking for certain answers in in an area and then they found this person and when they actually uh bumped into that person's channel they saw that wow this person has actually created a lot of content about that topic so now they start following them and this is why a lot of people have been able to build credibility and thought leadership in a category because they had the patience and commitment to create content over and over again over that one topic so if you want to stick to a traditional content topic and if you have clarity about what that topic will be this is how you should go about it second way of arriving at your niche is speak to a defined target audience this is not a traditional content niche you are not committing to one subject but here in this case you have clarity about who your audience is you must have seen a lot of successful youtubers who actually create a variety of content and they identify themselves as lifestyle youtubers yeah they talk about travel they talk about their personal life they do uh day in the life kind of vlogs they talk about their favorite apps books everything under the sun but what is constant in their brand and content is they are speaking to a very specific kind of audience now let me introduce you to one of my favorite youtubers she is ravinath sai she is 
uh, you know she lives in New York and she runs two channels she's a part of a beauty channel called beauty within she also has a personal channel that I am talking about now Ruvina's content if you follow her content on YouTube she talks about personal growth and mental health she talks about spirituality productivity a lot of topics you know and she has such an engaged community and people actually watch all of her content which is crazy, just crazy because every other video is different from um, one another but her brand if you see has a very common mission and purpose of helping people find a sense of self helping people live a life that is truly aligned to her values in fact in one of her videos where she did a new notion tutorial of how she organizes her life she talked about what her north star in her life was and then when i actually heard her speaking about that i was like yeah it actually makes sense her north star is to help people uh, live more meaningful authentic versions of themselves because each of her video on her youtube channel actually helps you do that it makes you more clearer of who you are like all of the stuff that someone like her talks about is from the point of view of her purpose her purpose is this and when she has clarity about okay what her purpose is what kind of content she wants to be creating she also has a clear understanding that okay she wants to talk to young audience anywhere in between 18 to 30 years of age mostly women who who like who embrace spirituality and prioritize uh, wellness in there's a very specific audience she has she has in mind for whom she has been creating con content consistently so now she is she has built that credibility and that trust with her audience over many many years of creating content which is why all her videos whether it's on self growth whether it's on productivity whether it's on notion <laughs> or her tech kind of videos actually makes sense and actually works for her and if you are the second kind of person who has done good shit in life you have full clarity of who you are you are probably a successful doctor who is now starting your youtube journey or your tiktok journey so you are someone who's already done a lot of work you don't have to figure yourself out you just want to accentuate or extend the work that you're doing in your real life to now social media so you come in the second category of people and congratulations you have figured your life out unlike most of the people like me uh, so in this case obviously things become much more easier now you have to start approaching your brand as someone who is how can we make your brand seem more interesting yeah you are here to talk about uh, someone who's a doctor for example right so now we think about how we can launch your brand in a way that okay you talk about skincare but how do we position your brand differently right fall under the category of content specific niche because you have saved yourself a lot of time by figuring out what you want to do in life uh, all I'm trying to say is either way you have to get started somewhere and for both of these kind of people if you are watching this video it is so so important to approach your niche from an open mindset and not get sucked into this analysis paralysis of oh like so and so person has tried this so I'm gonna go down that path a lot of youtubers people who have seen success on social media is also because they have done something different they have innovated in the way they have presented their ideas they have uh, you know embraced their original backstory and they brought up a lot of originality in the way they uh, captured their brand or told their story from a very different lens that was the longest video ever but finding your niche I feel is a constant process I know I am sharing this ideas with you but it is a constant battle for me to figure out my own niche but I have been speaking with a lot of friends and clients and people in social media and I have learned a thing or two about approaching your niche and there's never the right way to figure things out for some people it's a constant process in their lives to figure out what their content should be about but the key thing is to experiment the key thing is to surprise yourself never get stuck or never uh, limit yourself to a particular topic no matter what your story your voice your journey is the hero of your brand and you have to start thinking of your brand as someone who's has never you know people do not know about you so how can you already make predictions and how can you already come to a conclusion that you know there's no black and white or a and b you have to approach it from a very open positive mindset if this video resonated with you then please go hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already my name is Preeti and I live in London and on my channel I talk about 
doing abroad, finding your voice, social media, personal branding, because I also run my own personal branding studio, your socially. I work with a lot of public figures and entrepreneurs, helping them with their social media, content creation, TikTok stuff. Uh, let me know what do you think about this video and if you have somewhat of an idea of how you would define your niche, go let me know in the comments how you would define your niche in a way that it makes sense for who you are. Okay, I will see you again in a new video till then. Take care of yourself and I will see you again in a new video. Ah, uh, oh my god, this is bad. Okay, I'll see you guys.